Hello from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome and thanks for checking us out. Today we're going to wander over to the Fister Hotel. It's only about three blocks away from the lakefront, so you always got to check it out. And there's some neat sculptures here. This is made of all tambourines. So right in the heart of downtown Milwaukee lays the Fister Hotel. This place is one of the oldest standing hotels in Milwaukee and it's also the best. It was built in 1893 and it's been the recipient of the AAA Four Diamond Award since its inception, which is pretty unbelievable. Now there's two interesting things about this hotel. One, it's the most popular place for people to stay when they're in Milwaukee, especially Major League Baseball teams all stay here, NBA teams stay here, and if anybody's giving a concert in the Milwaukee area, it's a pretty good chance that you'll find them staying here as well. Even Elvis Presley and Paul McCartney have stayed in this hotel. Another fun fact is that this hotel is one of the few hotels, probably the only one in Milwaukee, that is raided by the Secret Service for the president to stay at. And every president since William McKinley, with the exception of Barack Obama, has stayed here. They stay in the governor's suite, and this is the bed in the room. It's kind of funny to think that JFK stayed here, Lyndon Johnson, Richard Nixon, uh, pretty much everybody since McKinley, like I said. And this is the bathroom. Obviously, I'm sure it's been remodeled in the last hundred years. But it's still pretty cool to think that this many world leaders stayed right here in Milwaukee. Now this is what the Fister looked like in the early 1900s. And the son of the owner, Charles Fister, shown right here, is said to still be in the Fister. Which is probably the reason why you're watching this video. Is There is a rich history of the Fister being haunted. Numerous Major League Baseball players, when they've stayed here, have complained about uneasiness and lack of sleep and it's believed that it's the spirit of Charles Fister. Now I found a couple of first-hand experiences and one came from Rangers infielder Michael Young who heard footsteps in his room walking around his bed when there was nobody else in the room. Another is Bryce Harper who laid out his clothes at the before he went to bed and then he woke up in the morning and his clothes were all scattered all over the room, some were on a table, and the door was still bolted and locked so he knew nobody else had been in the room. And one other is Carlos Gomez, who, you know, at one point was a Milwaukee Brewer, but has played for several teams, stayed here many times, and he heard voices in the room when there was nobody else in there, and his iPod turned on when he was in the shower, and it was just playing static. Now that's just a few examples, but there's there's a ton of different stories that happen in this hotel. And this is just walking around on the second floor. I showed a couple pictures of the, the main lobby, but um, yeah, this hotel has a very, very haunted history. But the hotel is very cool, it's very luxurious. It costs on average around $400 a night to stay here. You will get fantastic service, but there's always that small chance that you will not be alone in your room. If you've ever stayed here before, please leave a comment and let me know how your stay went. I'd love to hear some stories. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.